Dude, 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 dude. Oh my god. Go, go, go. Oh. Turn the recording. Don't. It's already on. <laughs> it's, yes. Oh, shit. Welcome back to Instant Replay Live. Uh. I don't know how many times you died there, but that. Oh. Don't he ever gonna leave just me. Drop him. Yeah. What? Oh, okay. So not just drop him. Okay. Well, at least something's happening. Dr. Fetus! Oh, yeah, man. I'm jerk. really sad, actually, watching this. Yeah. Like, I, I developed a camaraderie with this guy. He was my aggro. <laughs> he was your what, bro? He was my aggro. Oh, okay. Aggro! Oh, man. That was rough, though. I, I had a hard time with that. Yeah. Um, I mean, I'm sure it looks like if you had bandages, you could bring him back, but... But we're not doing that. <laughs> All right. Are we jumping forward? What's the point? Uh, here? Yeah, no, start the next episode. That's the end of... I mean, that's the beginning of an episode right, right there. We're just working on it? All right. Yeah, just go on. Yeah. Um, so I, I was kind of commenting randomly as I was playing just about the, the technicalities of that and everything that was going on and... What was so intense is this game has been building up all these different skill sets for you, jumping and running and, um, you know, angling and just all this stuff, and that mm -hmm. was easily the most technical I like this ninja scene so far. Here. Yeah, very much. Um, ooh, oh, right in the meat junks. Oh. And what? You know what Super Meat Boy is doing right here? Sleeping. Well, that, <laughs> but like, it's doing something that, that a lot of things don't do. Dr. Fetus is now a more uh, threatening villain. Uh -oh. Am I Are right? We? Yeah. No, and I, uh. I know we're harpers in the ground, but it's also just general storytelling rules. The idea of your hero trying and failing is really important. Yes, for sure. Um, you constantly fail against him in this, though. Like, I mean, sure. he's just. I'm not well, saying it's bad. He's a good villain, but I'm saying he's intentionally annoying as well. Like, why are you going up? Um, you know, I'm not supposed to. Yeah, but you keep trying it. <laughs> trying and failing, Nick. That's right. Uh, but I'd actually... What? Yeah. Something I can't jump on. Yeah, I um, mean, but I'd actually say that he's not necessarily been the threat so much, because he comes in and steals my girlfriend at the end. Yeah, but he's setting up all the challenges for you, effectively. Right. So you're you're saying at that. some point you're going to have to face him as a boss, and you're saying he's threatening. Maybe? Is he? Yeah, I mean, now I'm like... You know, he's been stealing my girlfriend, that's annoying, of course. But now he's beaten me in a fight, and now it's... You know, not just about saving my girlfriend, it's about, you know... Defeating justifying, him. yeah. Okay, I can get behind that, yeah. I mean, as a player, I'm excited. Sure. Oh, this is... Yeah, that's what you gotta do. Because the thing you were trying to jump on is not... It's foreground. It's not background. Yeah. Or it's not platform. Um... Whoa. I am... Whew. I am... I, I'm I mean, still I, I can't imagine having the stamina to keep playing this game. I'm, I'm exhausted. trying to slow my brain down. This is a much slower map, in a way. I'm exhausted um, just watching you. Alright, let me just... That thing's gonna double back, isn't it? Yeah, it is. Um, or it might just go through and come back and go Okay, okay. Um, so, anyways, what I was trying to say was, the, the neat thing about this game, and it's hard to see it without, you know, um, without holding the controller, but, you know, there's the speed up and slow down mechanic, mm -hmm. and at points kinda of that like last... kind of like Super Mario, you, like you hold down the yeah, to go faster kind of thing, yeah. Hold your arms back Mario and jump World. like a Superman. Um, uh, Careful. <laughs> oh, that's a tough... Like oh, but you've kind of dropped in, it looks like. Yeah. <laughs> oh, not that way. <laughs> um, so, but there were moments there where, uh, on that last level, where you had to, even though it didn't necessarily look like it, you had to just slow your running down just so you wouldn't slide into something when you landed on the other side. Yeah, or yeah, the salt. Something crazy. Yeah. It was just... It was, I mean, it was challenging, and it was frustrating, mm -hmm. but the technical reward of it... Oh, I felt so good when I when I beat that. I was just like I couldn't even speak. Hmm. I was like, <sighs> all right. And uh, that is, I mean that that is why I love games like this, and why I'm so disappointed by uh, difficulty. We've harked on this before, so I'll try not to hark too much. But I think oh. uh, it's just it's great. It's great to feel triumph in a video game, and it's not something we see yeah. often enough. And see, like I I agree with that, but I'm not the player who. Like, I want it on a, a level that is slightly lower than a game like Super Meat Boy. Because we've said before, like, I don't do frustration games. This game would just make me upset. I would maybe get obsessive and try to beat it if I were trying to play it. But during that time, I wouldn't be having fun. I would be getting angrier and angrier. So really, for me, it's all about story. Like, story games, and this game has a fun little story as yeah, well. It's it's little, but it's it's minimalist telling, but it's there. Um, 
but uh, story games are what like really compel me to play games. Yeah. And yeah. challenge games. I want a challenge in my story games, but I don't want this challenge. <laughs> sure, I think that's a balance. Um, well, I mean, what do you think is the most appropriately balanced game that was challenging enough, but not about the challenge, you know? I don't know that I have an answer for yeah, that that's one. Yeah, that's a hard one. Yeah. It's something you just think about. I mean, so I think Demon's Souls is not as hard as this. Um, okay. It, it is definitely hard, and you slam your head against the wall and do the same thing. Well, actually, that might not be dry. I played some bosses for hours and just oh, yeah. had to stop. But, um... Uh, that's a really hard jump. Um, but the thing about Demon Souls, I mean, there was a little bit more implied story there. It was also not spoken, really. Yeah. Well, it, it kind of was. Um, there was like an intro cinematic. But, yeah, that but that, then the rest of it was okay. you're kind of inferring from characters that appear okay. what's really going on. And inferring from the setting itself. Um, and uh, it, But it was just such a rich world, and so I was engrossed as a... Uh, as a player, but I'm also engrossed as a as an audience member for the story, sure. Um, because the setting was so lush. And there we go. Nice. Uh, and and I mean here I'm engrossed by I'm, I'm engaged as a player and I'm here you're attached just gross. to the characters and I'm and I'm also gross. I mean I'm gross in general. So. Yeah, yeah, that's true. <laughs> I figure if I insult myself enough, you'll stop insulting me. <laughs> nope. No, I'll just agree. All right, cool, and, and cool. lay on some. Yeah, that's just like when you did that disgusting thing. <laughs> Can we do some anecdotes about how gross you are? Um, I, like when you slept, walked, and tried to pee in mom's closet. Well, I, I'm pretty sure I did pee in mom's closet. <laughs> I, 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 I'm sure start. I, I didn't remember if you actually did or not, but I remember. I remember a story of you trying. Oh, one of my favorite stories from that same house. And sleep. do you sleepwalk at this point in your life? Um. I don't think so. No one stopped me, and so either I'm very successful. Oh, you're gonna get ground. I know. I'm trying to figure out where to go after. Down, straight down. I know, I know. But after I go down. Oh, uh, jumping over, obviously. Oh, Ooh, not that much. Um, but yeah, um, I haven't slept walk to my knowledge in a couple of years, but I've had many instances of it happening over the course of my life, and one of the the worst examples of it. I woke up, standing up, in my bedroom at our old house, um, and, uh, yeah, so obviously this was before I went, this was high school, I think, um, so I was probably, like, 17, guessing? Which house 16, 17? I mean, the yeah, audience well, will know, but I kind of want to Well, know it. you would know by my age, it's before I left for college. Oh, okay. So our last house that we lived in together. Um... Probably 16 or 17, I'm not sure which. But I woke up standing, so obviously I was sleepwalking before that point, and I felt I had a runny nose. And I was like, oh my god, what, what's going on? And so I um, decided that the best way to handle my sleepwalking... I mean, I'm sorry, uh, that's not... Sorry, I'm getting myself confused. The best way to handle my runny nose was to turn on the light and... Um, find a tissue and, you know, deal with my runny nose, obviously. Sure. I mean, that's... I'm, I'm dragging the story out for no reason. Um, so I, I had to, like, touch the wall to find, like, where the light switch was. And <laughs> when I finally found the light switch, it goes from pitch black to light on, and bloody handprints cover my bedroom. <laughs> oh. I was like... Oh my god. First thought, my entire family has been slaughtered. Oh god. Second thought, blood is all over my hands. I'm the one who did oh, it. Oh no! In my sleepwalk. <laughs> I genuinely, for a moment in the middle of the night, had this absolute horror wow. thought that I thought I had murdered you and mom. Oh and my goodness. And I can't remember if Gary was living with us at the time. I don't think he was. But, uh, I... I genuinely thought I had murdered you and mom. Wow. Um, and and I, that I had blood on your hands and I... Or on my, your blood on my hands and I had touched the walls. Turns out I had a nosebleed. <laughs> right? <laughs> so, my runny nose was just a nosebleed. I had touched it with my hands in my sleep, gotten blood all over myself, presumably gotten up, I guess, sleepwalking, half-waking, whatever. Um, but just knowing I had done plenty of things in my sleep, including... Uh, oh, I think we talked about it on an episode before, driving my car. 
Oh, wow. Um, yeah. Yeah, I remember that. And taking a shower. Um, and stepping on people's faces in a... That's like, what I was going to say. I thought that's what we were going to go to. Oh, yeah, that's a good Didn't one, Didn't you too. say, where are all the people or something like that, too? Oh, uh, I don't remember that. That's what I remember hearing. That's, that's how I remember the story being told, but... Yeah, it was silly. I was, I was 12 when that one happened, so I, my memories are very vague on it. Yeah. But I, I was staying with a church retreat uh, weekend thing. Um, uh, not weekend thing, but a, uh, a week-long, like outreach thing where we were painting houses for for the impoverished um, community in West Virginia. And we were staying in a school, so everybody was in sleeping bags on the floor of a classroom. And I apparently slept walk in the middle of the night and stepped on every single person in our room. <laughs> and everyone was apparently yelling at me and mad at me and uh, I had no idea. Like, I woke up not aware that it happened at all the next day and Everybody was mad at me. Um, it was absolutely hilarious. Um, are you getting stuck here? I, yeah, I'm trying to figure out. Cause you have some, to go some over. Weird foreground, right? Yeah. But um, but if you go over it, um, I think maybe I can just back jump off. Why would you back jump? Let's see. Uh, no. Okay. Can so, you land on the edge right next to it, or is it not high enough uh, that you can jump if you did that? Let me. We'll have to get back to it. All right. Well, actually, this is gonna be your last try. All right. So if you die here, <laughs> then we'll end. Yep. All right. All right. We will talk more on the next episode of Instant Replay Live. Um, I think we may have some more sleepwalking stories at some point, but um, I'm not sure that I have that many to be honest. Well, uh, you peeing in the closet is is the, I don't know if <laughs> is the, the pinnacle. Yeah. yeah. I have a lot more, but uh, I don't know if I'll bring them up now. It might might be a later storytelling. Uh, thanks, guys. Bye bye. Wow, wow. You really kick it. Kick Yo, it. plans, free stroke, Sonic Golf. Sonic Golf.